This is Malcolm341. In today's video, we're going to look at a tool I created that adds extra HUD elements to the Maya interface. These new HUD elements are super helpful, so let's check it out. Okay, so if you've purchased the Mega Script Pack, just come up here and you'll see the new icon, which is called HUD. Click it, and that opens the extra HUD toolbox. So first, you can turn on Working Units. So this is super helpful. It'll tell you what measurement you're currently in, and it will update automatically if you change the working units in the Maya preferences. So if you come down here, click on this and go to settings. And if you change the linear units from centimeters to let's say millimeters, that will just update and go meter, whatever, inch. You'll always know what Maya is currently set to. These are just toggles, so you can just turn them on and off. Let's go back to centimeters because that's what I like. Next up, we have the up access. So that just says up access Y or Z. Again, in the preferences under settings, if you change that to Z, it'll just update the Z. So again, you can just tell what your scene is currently set to. Next, we have selected items. I find this really useful. This displays the number of things you currently have selected. So if I select a polygon object, add another one, it updates whatever. It works on components. It works on anything. So whatever things you have in your scene, if you select it, it'll just count them. It doesn't care what type it is. It just counts it. So we could even go like, oh, we've got 333 verts selected, plus one object, four and five. So I just find this actually a lot cleaner and a lot better than the poly count display because I often just want to know how many things I have selected. So I find I can read this better. And more often than not, I just want to count the number of objects I have in the outliner. So you can just select them now and it'll display it for you in real time. As well, you can turn on the project. So that just tells you what your current project is set to. If you change your project under settings, it'll just display whatever is currently set for the project. And we also have last save. So this is really neat. When you turn this on, it starts a clock, which is basically telling you the time since you last saved the scene. So it's been eight seconds. And now if I press Control S or go to File Save, click it. And then I've saved the scene and it resets the counter. This also gets reset if you do a save as or if you do a save increment. So any type of save, it's going to tell you since your last save. So file, save, oh, no changes to the scene. So just rotate the camera, file, save, and then there's my last save. So it's been two seconds since my last save. And then finally, we have last auto save. So same thing time since my last autosave. My autosave is not turned on right now. So first of all, we have to enable autosave. So I'm going to go into settings and then go to files projects. And then I'm going to turn autosave on. And I'm going to say one minute. That's as short of time as we can get. So I'll just save that. And you can see already it started counting because I've just turned it on. And now I'm going to pause the video because this is a waste of your time. Okay, and we're back and it's about to autosave. So Boom, there we go, one minute. So the autosave occurred and then it resets the timer. So now it's been five seconds since the last autosave. One thing I wanna note is that the autosave feature does not work in Maya 2017 and 2018. Everything else will work fine. The autosave event that this HUD element relies on was not available until 2019. So if you're on 2018 or 2017, this feature won't work. Instead, it'll just print out here like you need to upgrade your Maya if you want that to work. So just something to be aware of. All of the other stuff works fine. So pretty cool stuff. I think these are going to be really helpful. I know that the working units is something a lot of people have requested because there's a lot of people using Maya that are working in feet and inches and they're constantly switching between the two. I personally really like the selected items. I'm going to use that a lot. I'll never turn on the default Maya one except in special cases because this is just a lot cleaner to read. Like if you want to go to edges. You know, you've got 32. You don't really have to look at all that noise or whatever. So hopefully everyone finds these new HUD elements useful. If you've already purchased the Mega Script Pack, the Modeling Pack, or the Single Script, this will be a free update. So you just need to download the same file again from your original email link to get the new stuff. If you haven't purchased the script yet, you can grab the script by itself in the Modeling Pack, or you can get it in the Mega Script Pack. So take your pick. Thanks very much for watching this video. Without viewers like you, this channel would not exist. If you liked this video and enjoy the channel, please support me by purchasing something from the online store. 
Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad-free. See you next time. Have an extraordinary day.